Eric, what's up, bruh? I'm writing you this letter because I would like to meet and forgive you for the murder of my younger brother, James Lamont Ford. During our meeting, if you choose, you do not have to say or admit anything. I would just like the opportunity to express my personal and family pain and hurt, and in turn, make peace with you. Sincerely. His face, the right side of his head had a hole in it the size of a grapefruit. His face, the ear on the right side of his head was barely attached. His face, his eyes were still open. They had bulged out of his head and his head had became disfigured from the gunshot blast. His face, only if you could see his face. His face, his face. His face. His face. My little brother. He was always smiling. I had nightmares. I started drinking a 40 ounce to a fifth of Cisco. Liquid crack. I wanted to kill myself. I kept asking, what am I supposed to do? And something said, right. I was writing everywhere. It was like my brother's spirit was living through me. At the clubs, at the bus stop, on the L, on the toilet. I really was. I was writing on the toilet. I was hooked. Soul searching. I sit in the sun. Life One has me soul searching. So I sit in the sun to soak away. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm just soul. So I sit in the sun. Urban yes, so America. Sun. Yes, sun. Yes, sun. Yes, sun. Yes, sun. Yes, sun. Yes, sun. People thought I was crazy. The Ku Klux Klan would like to take this time to salute and congratulate all you gangbangers for the slaughter of thousands of black people. You're doing a marvelous job. Black man, where are you today? You continue to run away, run away to crime, theft, drugs, drug selling, violence, and the mental and physical rape of ourselves. You are killing what could be future black doctors, lawyers, and businessmen that we won't have to compete with. The excellent thing is, you're killing the youth. I too experienced the pain and the hurt. It seems like it would never go away. But understand, that was yesterday. With your help and commitment, we won't have to worry about you niggas in generations to come. Come forth, black man. Come forth, black man. Come forth, black man. They caught Eric and Jonathan. They found the sawed off 12 gauge. Jonathan had on my brother's pants and gym shoes. They got life. I wrote them letters in prison. I wanted to vibe with him. Eric called. He invited me down. He was shackled from his wrist, waist, to his ankles. First, he was like, get me out of here. I didn't do it. I'm like, dude, I'm not here for you to admit to me whether you did it or not. He was calm. He just listened, really. Eric was the trigger man. I said I wanted to make peace, and I forgive you. I put my fist to the glass. He put his fist to the glass. That was it. We were cool. My last hug. Well, this has everything to do with my last hug. Because at all the times when Mike and I left each other, we left each other with a hug. On December 27, 1991, the last day that I saw Lamont alive, we didn't hug. So the hug that I share with you is my last hug Lamont and I didn't share. Peace.